guys, I hope you're well. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first video of 2016. So I've noticed a lot of YouTubers for their first video of 2016 are actually doing the best of beauty 2015 and I already did that, very organised. Um, I already did that at the end of 2015, like literally just like on New Year's Eve it might have even gone up. But if you haven't seen that video, please have a look because it's got all my favourite products in there. So for my first video of 2016, I thought I would do a video that has been requested by a few people on my social media channels and on YouTube as well. To do a no makeup makeup look or like a au natural makeup look. So here it is. Okay, so first things first, I use primer even though we're not using a whole foundation or anything like that. I've always, always used primer. I like to use the NARS Pore Refining Primer because I just think it's really nice and lightweight. I'll use either one or two options. So I'll either use the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturiser or I will use the Splashbox Camera Ready BB Water. And out of the two, I do think this is more lightweight. So today I'm going to use this one. And this is so lightweight that I wouldn't even use a brush for it. I'll just put it onto my face. I've already put on primer. So I'll just kind of do a few dots onto my face. Obviously where you need more coverage than just your arm. And it's so lightweight that I've just blended it in with my fingers. Give you a really lightweight coverage but nothing too heavy and you can just see your skin through because it's very very sheer and it just looks like you're wearing nothing at all. See, so okay, it just literally just looks like your skin but better. Then the next thing I do is brows and I kind of never make a really big deal about my brows anyway just because I don't like overdone brows or like thick brows. My brows are quite dark and I like them quite thin so I don't kind of do anything major. I just use the Smashbox Brow Tech so I've got a matte pencil and I've got a gloss pencil. The gloss pencil I mainly use when I do like a heavier makeup look or if I'm going out. Wind it up and just fill in any gaps. Fine feather strokes. And it applies in fine feather strokes anyway, so even if you're a little bit heavier handed. It's fine. Just use the spoolie to kind of brush that, blend that out. I use a matte paint pot in soft ochre. Even if we're not doing a heavy eye look, I just wear this. This is basically my base. I'll just put that on very lightly. Then I have my own kind of like customised MAC palette. I'm going to take the shade Kid on a big blending brush and just kind of blend that into my crease. So they also just define the eyes ever so slightly and naturally it just looks really really natural. I have a more flat brush and I take the colour Malt, which is literally just the same colour as my skin. I just put this all over the eyelid. And this basically just keeps my eyelids matte. So I feel like my eyelids get quite oily, so that's why I just like to put a shadow there. If your eyelids don't get oily, you can just probably stick to the paint pot. Then what I do is just take a cold eyeliner, and I'm take, using the NARS Coal Liner in black. You can use brown if you want. And because my eyelashes are quite dark, I just use a black. And I'm not drawing a line, but I'm just pressing into my lower lash line just to kind of darken the lash root. Just to kind of brighten up the eyes, make my eyes still look big, but still very natural, I'm going to take the Maybelline Big Eyes Liner and I'm going to take this side which is the nude one. I could have actually used this then for the cold liner bit. It's not white so it doesn't look like majorly bright. It's just nude so it looks really natural and I'm just going to put this in my waterline. And this will make your eyes look big and bright but still very, very natural. And then one of the most important steps for me is the concealer. This just makes all the difference. And just a really, really lightweight concealer that I use is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream for eyes. And I do it just how I do my normal concealer, just really quickly. And I just find this really quick and fuss free as well. Just draw a triangle under my eye. And 
just use my Mega Beauty Blender just to blend that. The thing is when you're doing a no makeup look, you want to look like you're hardly wearing any makeup, but you definitely don't want to look dull. You definitely still want to look bright eyed and your skin to glow. And I'm just going to set that concealer straight away with a bigger beauty blender using the MAC Mineral Life Skin Finish. for now but we'll just leave it to set for a minute and we're just going to go on to a little bit of light contour so um i know this is supposed to be a no make makeup makeup look but i think contour is still really really important and you are able to kind of do contouring without looking too overdone so i'm taking the nars bronzer in casino very very lightly contouring the hollows of my cheeks my forehead just some warmth Wow, just really lightly so it just looks really natural like I woke up like this and I have model cheekbones and a model nose. And I'm just going to take the contours, Smashbox contour highlight stick and just go down the bridge of my nose and blend it. And I'm using a cream here with no shimmer whatsoever. So we're trying to look then I'm just going to take away any excess shine. Obviously if you want a glowy look then you can keep staying like this but I prefer a more matte look so I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin and Finish just to take away any excess shine. The mascara to just open up your eyes. So I'm just going to take the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. Well, just going, not being too heavy handed with this at all, but making sure that you go right from your boot to the tips. You haven't got on eyeliner, but you've just darkened your lash roots. Your eyelashes look so much stronger. On kind of like no makeup days or really natural looking days, I like to use the Benefit Alice because for me it's dark but it kind of like contours at the same time and it's just got like a hint of pink. So, that's that. If you watch my YouTube channel you'll know that Brave is my everyday colour so here it is. The liner I use is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the colour East and Snob. Easy, very quick, only like to wear makeup look. This is probably the look that I will wear kind of every day. I'm not going in and doing anything, I'm just kind of like doing things locally. Like, or the school run, I think it's a really quick and easy look to do. You're literally just kind of framing your face, defining what you already have. So some people for this look will just wear like a quick gloss or Vaseline, but I always have to wear lipstick. For me, the three main products for me are lipstick, concealer and um, eyeliner just to darken the lash roots. I can go with that mascara because I've got quite long lashes but I need to darken the lash roots so it kind of defines my eyes. I hope you like this really quick makeup look. Please comment below and let me know what your you know really quick looks are. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to me and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's really really fun. I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys.